So today we're going to take a look at static objects. So usually when we create a floor object and we add a dynamics tag to it, so simulation tags, rigid body, and I'm just going to create a sphere, add a dynamics tag, I've got a shortcut here, and if I play this simulation back, the floor is basically automatically a static object, and that's because the floor object is a special kind of object. It's basically an infinite surface. But imagine if we want to use a plane for the floor. So I'm just going to create a plane object. And I'm going to add a rigid body tag to this. So if I play back this simulation, both objects just fall down. So there's something I need to do to this plane object so it basically stays still. So there's actually two ways to do this. One of them is to set dynamic to off which is quite confusing because if I play this back the sphere is still colliding with the plane so the plane is actually colliding but it's basically a static object so you just can't move it the second method is to uh, go to shape and set it to static mesh it gives us the same result but I'm going to focus on this method here today. So this is quite useful if you want to mix keyframe animation with dynamics. So I'm just going to set up a simple uh, hammer, create a cylinder, uh, create another cylinder, move it up, that should be all symmetrical. I'm going to group these two objects, Alt G, and I'm going to give it a rigid body tag. And as you remember in the previous tutorial, we need to uh, set inherit tag to apply tag to children. Sorry, compound collision shape. So it's basically using uh, the combination of all these objects as one object. So I'm just going to rotate this. 180 degrees and I'm just gonna move it up a bit more I'm gonna change the anchor point put it more at the tip so I'm basically trying to animate my object and it's not working that's because I basically added the dynamic tag too early so I'm just gonna delete that and I'm gonna go back to my front view and now if I move my null I can animate it but as soon as you put a dynamic tag on here uh, it basically locks. So I'm just going to animate quickly uh, the rotation, keyframe for bank, come to 40 frames and animate it over here, keyframe here. So we've got this simple animation of this hammer swing. Uh, it's not much to look at, but I'm just going to demonstrate a point. Um, I'm going to create a sphere and just move it up and a floor object. So I'm going to give my floor object a rigid body tag. Same for the sphere. They're all set up. But I want my hammer to react with the dynamic sphere even though it's got keyframe animation on it. So I'm going to add simulation tag on the null set it to inherit tag compound collision shape check out the previous tutorial if you don't know what that does so if I play this back the hammer kind of falls down so if I want it to take into account the keyframe animation I need to set dynamic to off and now even though we have keyframe animation, it's still uh, interacting with our dynamic scene. So this should give you an idea of how powerful uh, dynamics can be combined with keyframe animation. And I'm just going to duplicate the sphere a few times. Put one over here. Maybe one over here. And a fourth one over here. Play back my scene. Let me 
move these in a bit more. Trying to get a chain reaction going. Play it back. Just stack them one after the other. That's better. So that's a very basic introduction to static objects in Dynamics. If you found this useful, please share it. And thanks for watching.